Hey, what's going on everyone? This video is on NFPA 13's soffit and cabinet rule, spraying under obstructions located against a wall. Let's get started. The soffit rule identifies whether or not we need sprinkler heads under the obstruction located against the wall, or if we can use its formula to locate the sprinkler head for its spray pattern to extend under the obstruction. This is not limited to only soffits, ductwork, cable trays, or other similar projections attached to the wall can also be used for this rule. And we will also cover the cabinet rule. When do we not need sprinkler heads under cabinets? Before we get into the details, everything we go over in this video is specific to these style heads only. So make sure if you're going to apply the rules we go over today, it's for the right heads that are in this shot. All right, here it is. Let's break this down piece by piece. Distance A, the distance from the side of the obstruction to the center of the sprinkler head. Distance B is the distance from the bottom of the obstruction to the deflector. And distance D is the width of the obstruction. If we are going to use the soffit rule for one of the available sidewalls, it is for obstructions against a wall located on the same wall as the sprinkler. This is not to spray under obstructions across from the sidewall. So make sure we got that right. If you're trying to spray under an obstruction located on the opposite side, of the sidewall, we're going to use the beam rule for that specific head. Okay, now on to the formula. First thing we have to make sure is that it is 30 inches or less. If the width of the obstruction is 30 inches or less, we always minus eight inches first, then we add the distance from the bottom of the obstruction to the sprinkler deflector, we add those together and that will give us A, the distance from the side of the obstruction to the center of the sprinkler head. This is always the same for all the available heads that we can use. All right, I created an example so we can run this through with some realistic numbers we're gonna see out in the field. D, 30 inches, the width of the obstruction. And B, the distance from the bottom of the obstruction to the sprinkler deflector is 12 inches. First thing we'll do is take D, 30 inches, and minus eight, always. That's gonna give us 22 inches. Then we're gonna add 12 inches to the 22. That's gonna give us 34 inches. And that is how far from the side of the obstruction to the center of the sprinkler head we have to be to achieve a full spray pattern underneath our obstruction. All right, if the soffit rule is not an option, maybe pushing the sprinkler head further off the side of the obstruction puts us too close to another sprinkler head, or maybe the obstruction is over 30 inches. In that case, we put a head underneath the obstruction or you can always try to use the beam rule to spray under the obstruction, keeping in mind the max distance from the wall behind the obstruction to the center of the sprinkler head has to be half the max distance depending on the head you're using and the hazard occupancy you are in. The intent of the soffit rule is to apply to soffits or obstructions that are located within the 18 inch plane from the sprinkler deflector. A soffit or other obstruction, like a shelf for example, located against a wall that is located entirely below the 18 inch plane from the sprinkler deflector should be in accordance with sprinklers being placed under obstructions over four feet wide. So if you run into this situation where you have a shelf or a soffit 
or ductwork located against the wall that is below the 18 inch plane from the sprinkler deflector, then you just treat that as an obstruction less than four feet wide. There's gonna be enough water covering the area to get your satisfactory performance and nothing else is needed. If that obstruction ends up being over four feet wide, then we're gonna to have to add a head underneath to cover accordingly. If the obstruction, like the shelf we're talking about, is within the 18 inch plane of the sprinkler deflector, then we're gonna to try to locate that sprinkler using the soffit or the beam rule so we can spray underneath it. Or we can add the head underneath to get our full coverage. Okay, now to finish off the video with the cabinet rule. Obstructions located against the wall that are not over 24 inches in width shall be protected in accordance with our figure. The maximum distance between the sprinkler and the wall shall be measured from the center of the sprinkler to the wall behind the obstruction and not the face of the obstruction. So what do we have to keep in mind? The maximum distance between sprinklers depends on the style head we are using. That's gonna give us our max distance off the wall and the hazard occupancy we are in to make sure we're spacing the heads correctly and getting the correct maximum distance off the wall. So the other big thing is there is no maximum distance from the fire sprinkler deflector to the bottom of the obstruction, no maximum. So if our obstruction is 24 inches or less, and we keep in mind our max distance from the wall behind the obstruction to the center of the sprinkler head, we can omit the head under that cabinet. All right, everyone, as always, I hope you learned something new and I'll catch you on the next video.